artificial intelligence is infecting every sector of the internet and unfortunately it's not just gonna stop okay it's gonna keep going and to keep you in the loop on how things are going we currently have an ai songwriter slash influencer named anna indiana now this ai songwriter is not good uh the lyrics are whatever they're not bad but they're also not really unique or have soul because you know it's made by a robot and yeah it sounds okay too let's tear it all down but the visuals man oh that is nightmare fuel that does not look good at all so for the visuals alone i don't think this this ai influencer is going to be popping off but there's probably going to be a lot like it in the future because everyone wants the the quick cash grab of making an ai influencer so that's fun this is probably going to be a reoccurring thing that keeps getting more and more prominent especially since if you look back a little bit uh ai stuff has gotten really good like you remember that will smith video from a while ago that thing looked horrible and that was like what eight months ago and now we're at this that's not good <laughs> that's not good now i don't think ai is gonna be taking over people's jobs anytime soon i've talked about this before at least in like the creative sector because like that's the one i know the most about i could be wrong but honestly i think most people who watch content or influencers or movies or tv shows or whatever it is like watching it to some extent because it was made by a person i think if you got people to watch a really really good ai movie and then at the end of the credits told them it was ai but didn't tell them before i think they'd feel robbed of their time to some extent even if they thought the movie was good there's just something about it being made by a person that makes it immediately better when it's made by a robot there's just a huge disconnect at least for me from the content to me I, I don't know what it is there's probably some factor of i really don't want to be enjoying content made by a robot because it makes me think i'm brain dead <laughs> to some extent and i mean like yeah you, you kind of would be if you're actively watching anna indiana and you're like this is the best songwriter to ever live yeah you're a little brain dead buddy okay <laughs> But I think this kind of stuff is going to keep getting more prevalent. I mean, just look at Quibble Cop, for example. This dude's whole channel is AI. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that, by the way. He does AI react content, which um, I'm not a fan of. Because as someone who does react content, it's already pretty easy, man. You've boiled down the easy content into automated, okay? I, I feel like that's not okay. Something about me feels like it's not okay. Like, I know for a fact there's a lot of good uses for AI that people just haven't found yet. Like, for example, procedural generation in games. Imagine how good that stuff could be with AI assistance. It could be so good. Now, I'm I'm sure some of it already is ai assisted to an extent i'm not a game dev but like this tech could definitely be used for like good things or if you're a video creator you could use it to make some kind of interactive story there's like a lot of things you could do with ai that aren't just like making yourself react to stuff on the internet but ai stuff in general is actually getting kind of kind of serious it's hard to stress how good it's getting because it's, it's happening so quickly like there's no room to breathe from the ai getting better like you wake up the next day you see an ai thing and it's like wow it's better than yesterday like literally that fast it, it's it's kind of worrying a little bit and artificial intelligence has gotten so good recently that the u.s is trying to hold back china from getting better in terms of ai the u.s has banned the 4090 in china because the the gpu is too powerful to be selling to china because it might make their ai better like actually that that happened there's even some factories in china that have been stockpiling gpus before the ban went into effect so they can still sell them which is kind of crazy also at the same time if you're the u.s why are you giving them like advanced warning i i don't really get that like hey nvidia we're gonna ban you from like you know giving this product to china but uh we give you three months to ship it out for them <laughs> like and with this being the 4090 that got banned in china i imagine from this point onwards there's gonna be more and more gpus banned for being shipped to china because the 4090 is the most powerful card in this generation what about the next generation is there gonna be like the 6090 and the 6080 are both banned and then the next one will be like the 7070 or that one's banned too like like at what point does china start getting gpus again it's a little weird i get it from a military perspective though i mean like if you don't want your competition to catch up militarily you just nerf them and they can't do that it makes sense why the u.s would do this for sure i'm just kind of curious and like how far it'll go but anyways back in topic to ai ai is getting really good and here's another example i found it is a chevy truck ad and it's made by ai and it's kind of like pretty good if this is made by a person you'd think okay that's kind of funny but why do they all look so weird but like think about this this ai made obese american people gave them huge trucks and copied ads and made a truck ad like that's kind of impressive that's pretty impressive for a robot to do people can grab abstract ideas and put them together pretty easily but a robot they don't even know what an abstract idea is i think as time goes on ai will start to be used more and more as an assistance tool over a replacement because that's just where i see it going it's like computers everyone was worried about computers literally taking their jobs 
Okay. And yes, I agree. AI is much different and it actually is going to be taking some jobs. That is just an undeniable fact. But I think it's going to be a lot like computers where we use them to assist with work over outright replacing us. But like, I could be wrong. AI is very different. That's just how I currently feel about it. I'd be more worried over AI uh, firing nukes at each other than taking my job, to be honest. Given the opportunity, it seems like it's much easier to fire off a nuke uh, than it is to make a YouTube video if you're an AI. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> And to be clear, this is assuming that a country gives them nuclear access. Okay, this isn't some robot breaking in the government and like taking over the nukes. Okay, that's not what I'm saying, to be clear. But we'll have to see where things go. Uh, honestly, I don't see it going super far in the near future because I mean, Anna Indiana has 10 followers on TikTok um, and couldn't even get her like actual at. So <laughs> she's not doing the best, okay? And the AI's Instagram has, uh, you know, 200 something followers which is not the worst thing in the world but the the two pictures it has look exactly the same so like yeah this isn't like a huge threat yet but who knows maybe elon musk's bot grok will actually be very very smart soon who knows the only thing i've seen it say is that elon musk is funny but maybe it'll eventually get the intelligence part of ai what do you think about the ai takeover let me know in the comments down below like subscribe new follow me on twitter i spend one click the entrance now check out more of my content and have a good one